video and today will be a replication video i haven't done these videos for so long i know my last video i said see you next week but that week turned into five years so yeah it's it's really difficult but i finally got there at that time there was lockdown going on so i had so much time to do things when things started becoming normal so like they started opening things up work is is open again so i can go to work now things are a little bit sticky, but I found the time to do the video. So I'm so excited. So for those who are new to my channel, hello. And in these videos, I basically take a makeup look and try to copy and paste it onto my face. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And today's look will be very interesting. So if you guys wanna see how it is, then keep watching. So guys, look at my mini twists. This took four hours to do and it's so worth it because I literally needed a hairstyle that I can just put away and I just don't need to care or touch my hair. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, so the look I'm going to do today, so it looks a bit like a, a smoky, a purple smoky, bluey... I don't know how to explain that. I know it's a cut crease, but the colours are very, like, polar opposites. So, the background is purple and the crease is blue. And, yeah. So, guys, for this look, I'm going to use three palettes. Only because that purple, I can never get the purples right. So... I think I will start with a dark purple, but that dark purple looks like it's almost blue. For that blue, the dark blue, purple, violet, whatever you want to call it, Revolution Pro Palette, this is an OG because I've used this in basically all my videos now, so you should know who this babe is. But yeah, I'm going to be using that colour here, and that colour is called Indication. I'm going to take a very generous amount of that and i'm gonna pat it on my crease and i always get this bit wrong because when it comes to cutting the crease the dark color is really not as like pigmented maybe because i do the wrong method so we're just gonna try and do this and see if anything okay and i think next i'm gonna go for this color here the next one and that one is called shrine but this is gonna add some okay it's made it purple that's that's good and then the last color i'm gonna go into my morphe social butterfly palette and take hashtag influencer Do you know what? I'll put a little bit of that and then maybe I'll go for pink. After I'm going to use this colour here and that is hashtag besties. I am going to use that to diffuse the purple. Okay. Guys, are you seeing this? Okay, I feel good now. I feel a little bit better. What I will do differently this time, because I usually use um, this. This is my cut crease canvas, but this is in the shade Etch, which is kind of like a concealer color for me. When I try to cut my crease, I'm not getting that sharp effect. So I'm gonna use this. This is called Create, and it's a bit lighter. And I feel like that's too high but let's let's just do it so i'm gonna start oh 
what I'm going to try to do, because it's not as neat, I'm going to use like a tiny, that type of brush. And then use that to just neaten everything. Wow, that's really neatened everything. Okay, the annoying thing is as well, this is so high and I think that's the problem. I think I might go for this colour here in the Beauty Bay palette. This is called Daydream. And on my hand, on my swatch, that's the colour. So it looks, it looks like it could work, but we're just going to have to see how it plays out because right now, okay, I think this is a good one. Okay, so, okay, so, <laughs> guys, I really, uh, so I'm going to put some purple back onto my up here. Let's see if I can sharpen it with this. Hmm. And then I'm gonna go with hashtag besties the pink. And that's just to brighten up here again because everything has just gone dark. So back to the first colour that I have, Indication. Is that what it is? Yes, Indication. I am going to take that and in the picture, in the outer corner, like it's been blended in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take that colour and just blend it in like that. So for the time being, this is how the eye looks. Obviously in the picture, um, there's some stuff going in the bottom lash line. But I'm going to do my full face first and then do the rest of that. But yeah, for the moment, it's looking okay. It's not the best, especially close up. But from, from far, it looks like something. So yeah, I'm going to do my full face, do the other eye, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. So, this is the final look. This is so pretty. <laughs> wow. The purple and the blue, surprisingly, and the pink as well, just really brings out the eyes. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Actually, with this eye, I managed to get the darkness going on a little bit neater than this if you guys can see like the difference in the sharpness so what i did this was literally my trusted friend in this situation this little thing like i i never really well i had an idea of what this does but it really helped me because it really helped to neaten the the cut crease and yeah so i now know that i don't really need to bring the cut crease up to here so my old technique so putting the concealer on my lid and then like blinking and it goes up i think that's got to change so what i did do so with my angled brush like i literally like followed the shape of my eyeball and then to neaten it out i used this and yeah, so that's what got me this uh, sharper look. Still not there yet, but to be honest, I feel like I did a good job. As a look, guys, this is a look. Who is this? Oh. Now, guys, I know I do this like at the end of all my videos, but this. This is pretty. But anyways, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will really, really, really try to be more consistent with this because, like, I started it. I really enjoy making these videos. But to be honest, I don't even get a lot of likes and views. So, guys, please share the love. Like, show me some likes, some comments. So I know that you guys like the videos. 
but yeah i'm gonna try and be consistent and you know try to bring out more replication videos for you guys but yeah that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye